Uh, why don't you explain a little bit about MRSA? And also, what impact MRSA may have, even in regard to carrying people with wheelchairs? Um, I guess the first question to ask is, does anybody in here know what MRSA is? I have one hand, two hands, three, four, uno. So MRSA is a, um, it's an abbreviation for methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aura. Um, or Aurea, or however you wish to pronounce the last word. So now you understand why they call it MRSA. Um, but basically, it's a bacteria that is resistant to methicillin, which is one of the strongest antibiotics that are out on the market. Um, what a lot of people don't realize is that um, in today's society, MRSA has become a very, very common bacteria that people can get into. Historically, it's been a bacteria that um, you had to be very, very ill in order to, uh, to contract or to have grow within you. Um, not so much anymore. It's becoming a little more aggressive. And you find it a lot in individuals whose immune systems have been beat up, uh, people who have spent uh, extended stays in hospitals, uh, in some cases nursing facilities. Um, and we're starting to see it uh, progress uh, through all modes of transportation, uh, mostly with uh, ambulance level transportation, stretcher seeing uh, quite a bit of it. We're seeing a lot more of it in wheelchair and even ambulatory um, transportation. So uh, one of the things that we really try to do is um, with the class that we teach, we try to uh, enlighten people about the need for some additional training uh, for all of their employees, whether it's driving a sedan, uh, a city bus, um, a stretcher vehicle, an ambulance, on how to minimize the risk for catching diseases uh, or illnesses such as MRSA or some of the other ones that are out there. Tim, given that statistic in regard to health care providers, um, the statistic, and this I looked scary. for a long time to try to figure out try to back this up. Uh, so I guess the unofficial statistic that we were, we were trained with years ago is that a healthcare provider, if a healthcare provider is in the field for more than one year, there's a 70% chance that they have MRSA. So um, it doesn't mean they're infected with it. You can have it and not be infected with it, meaning that it makes you sick, but there's a 70% chance.